Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer, and this is George Tig. And we're at Ridgey Fork Organic Farm. All right. Woo! <laughs> he won't woo. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. So. <laughs> Today is a special day. We're on a visit to a local farm here in Elon, North Carolina called Reedy Fork Farm. We're with George Teague. George Teague is the owner operator of this farm. This is a fifth generation. Fifth generation. Fifth generation farm. Started out as a dairy farm. Now they make organic chicken feed and this is what we're going to be feeding our meat birds. So come along today as we teach you a little bit about how organic chicken feed, hog feed, cattle feed, any kind of goat feed, feed any, goat feed, any. any kind of feed is made. That's right. So we're going to have a good time today. All right. Alright, before we get started talking about the grain operation and how all this stuff works, we're going to take you in and show you all the machines. It's going to be really cool. George, you have a pastured poultry operation, but it's not meat birds, it's a pastured egg operation. Is that right? That's correct. So all these chickens that you see behind us that are coming up all sneaky, they're all raised in Amish country up in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay, up into 16 weeks old. 16 weeks gotcha. and we get them we get them from the Amish farmer up there and bring them down we also have poultry uh, pullets for sale that we sell when we first get them in to cool. we take orders and we'll sell some of those nice so a guy can come out here and instead of having to raise a chick from that big they can actually buy a chicken that's getting ready to start laying that'll be laying in two or three weeks that's nice right. nice that's and you're right. saying that these birds right here they just came in and they're about 16 18 week range so you're expecting them to start laying should be anytime. seeing some eggs anytime i wouldn't be surprised if there's not a few in there this morning nice now you provide eggs to local restaurants or local uh farmers markets or how, how do you sell those how do you market the eggs? most of our eggs go to lo local co-ops okay. um, deep roots co-op in greensboro and okay. the weaver street co-ops down in the hillsborough and raleigh area cool so with the logistics and we talked about this on the farm vlog recently the logistics of raising pastured egg layers so you deliver your eggs am i right yeah, that's correct do you put them on a refrigerated truck to take them to the to the different we have markets? a cooler that that we take them in we don't have okay. a refrigerated truck but we do have coolers so, so we put them in in hot weather keep, keep them in a going. cooler most of the week you run two two times a week or something like once, that once a week we make our deliveries gotcha. to, the, to the grocery stores gotcha cool we started working on a home delivery system with our chickens and our eggs trying to deliver to some neighborhoods in our local area kind of like the milkman would come to your door you can have a cooler that says stony ridge farmer on the porch this is ideas for this guy <laughs> and you can have a cooler on the farm basically you just bought a cooler it sat on your porch and it would say reedy fork farm and every morning you'd wake up or every thursday morning you'd wake up and you'd have a new carton of eggs or two cartons of eggs or three cartons of eggs in there and you'd leave your old cartons in so a cool little system we were trying to devise on our farm food for thought what do you think about that that, that works that could that, work that could work yes. it's a lot of logistics and moving yeah. eggs and not a lot of profit so uh, it's a lot of work and not a lot of profit tell me about the building that you have the chickens in back here now this is interesting this is an old classroom building this is an old classroom building gotcha. we like educated chickens yeah. so we, <laughs> we we put them in the classroom to live we get those recycle these classrooms from schools that have, are not using them anymore and we fix a, fix a wall on them so they have chicken wire on one side and opened up so the chickens have a place to go put a roost inside for them put like egg boxes nice layer boxes for them to lay in so inside these old classrooms and it's basically a double wide mobile classroom like you would see like schools are overcrowded they put extra trailer type classrooms outside and that's what we have here he can pick those things up for a song for like two thousand fifteen hundred three thousand bucks so yeah a whole lot cheaper than building your own and it's mobile you can move it throughout the farm and he's got a big old place i think we're on what 500 and some acres out here that's correct wow awesome let's go check out the grain operation and we're coming back to this farm because you have a unique milk parlor is that right that's right it rotates yep 
Yeah. Red, red <laughs> We're going to come back here, guys. So look for a future vlog. Pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can see the rotary milk parlor on the next trip. Let's go check out the grain mill. Okay, this is our grain bins where we store our grain. We have uh, nine bins here, varying sizes from nine tons to about 30 tons, the biggest bins. We bring it in from our other storage of bigger bins on the farm and put it here on the farm with our auger trailer to be able to grind it here close by. We have corn, oats, barley, wheat, field peas, roasted soybeans. We have a nutritionist at for trail that does runs all our rations for us and makes up all our, our rations. And that's also where all of our minerals are for trail minerals that goes into our feeds that make up our feed. Also in one of our bins we have crab meal in it. Crab meal is a really good source of calcium. It gives us, um, it's what's left over when they pick the meat out of the crab, then they dry it. And then we have that crab meal has about the same consistency as uh, a grasshopper. So that's why it's, it's getting something into the end the animals of having real feed instead of just, just a lot of byproducts for our animals. Everything has a definite sort of reason that it's in there. Come on over here and we'll go see how it works. This is a hopper bottom bin so that everything funnels down into it and you can see here the, the field peas that are in the bottom and the auger will come on and bring it into the mill and we'll go into the mill in a minute and see where it goes into in there. This is how we bag our feed by hand. It's all done by hand, not by machines. This weighs out each bag. Then, we're, um, then we put the tag to it. As you see, the feed's running in. It has a scale on the bag, so we get the proper amount, your exact 50 pound bag. Then over here, he's taking the feed tag and putting on the bag and sewing it shut. After it's sewn, then he stacks it over here on the pallet, ready for somebody to come by and pick it up or either to take it to your farm. Yeah. This is some of your broiler feed, 18% protein for your, that you're gonna take home to use at your chickens. And here's the brains of the operation. This is where all of the computer controlled that runs everything out on the mill. We make a full line of soy and soy free products so we can take care of whichever you prefer. If you prefer soy, we have soy in all of our feeds for that. If you don't like soy or have a problem with soy, then we can make a full line of that also. What you're looking at here is the soy free layer with each ingredient that we have in the soy free layer. We use sesame meal and field peas instead of the soy to make up the protein in that. Then we have flax meal that goes in it and we use flax, also use flax oil to help with omega-3s in it. So if you live in the city and you're raising your chickens in a small coop, oftentimes your birds don't get the grit that they need. And grit is very important for a chicken. They have to get it in their gizzard to break down food, to crunch up food. So grit is included in the feed, am I right? That's correct. Awesome. This is our feed meal. This is, we were outside earlier with the feed bins. This is all the augers that come into our meal. There's nine bins outside, so we have nine augers come in. Everything we do has to be either ground or some of it goes in whole. So that's why the reason for all of the spaghetti scraps of every, everything up here, we can change it over. It can, we can run half of it into this side to, so it can be ground or we can run it into the mixer over here so that it can be stirred up. This is our area here that we have some ingredients that we have to put in by hand. It just runs and goes straight into the auger in the bottom of it that we weigh out here in the buckets with the scales. And then in here is the meal part of it that grinds the feed. It has these blades that spin. There's a 10 horsepower motor that runs it. Then we have screens of different sizes like this that mounts in there so that it, it'll, different size feeds. Pigs, we grind it real fine. Uh, starter feed for our chickens is smaller. And then as, it, as your chickens get bigger, we put a bigger screen in it. To, if you have layers, then that's all, um, we'll, a lot of whole grains. And that's why it, we switch it over so it just goes into the mixer. This is our mixer here. All the feed goes into this side here. And there's an auger up through the center of it, feeds over, 
it stirs it up just like your mixing bowl or your feed bin. This whole setup looks just like your portable mill that you pull behind your tractor. It's pretty much the same thing. Just this is run with a computer instead of being run by a tractor. And we have a 10 horsepower, two 10 horsepower electric motors that run it. It looks busy. <laughs> <laughs> it is busy. Sometimes it's hard to keep the, the right uh, string pulled to, so that the feed's going in the right place. So to make sure and make the feed the right way. So as we're walking into your farm store here, you guys sell what 2,000 pound totes, anything up to a 2,000 pound tote, like a giant bag if you wanted, if you had like a large hog operation. And also with a 2,000 pound bag, we can only put 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds. So if you don't need the whole ton, we can put a smaller amount in that. Okay. And you also sell it in 50 pound or 25 pound bags for a smaller. That's person. correct. Cool. Come on in, we'll take a look around the farm store. In here we have a little bit of everything. We specialize in products that that we like or either that we can bag ourselves to uh, make it available in smaller amounts. We have fertilizers from the Fertrail product lines that we carry. All of our chick starters. Then we have animal care products that you can't, organic uh, remedies for taking care of your animals. We have all kinds of different things along that line. We have a few of your home items to take care of you. We have, uh, we sell elderberry syrup. We have anything you need for your chickens, honey. And the main thing, freezer full of food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast yet. Well, George, thanks a lot for showing us around the farm today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little trip around an organic feed mill. I'll bet you never saw anything like this before. I know I've never seen anything like this. Really proud to take you here. If you want to find George's farm online, go to reedyforkfarm.com. That's correct. Or North Carolina Organic Feed. Yes. Dot com. And we'll post links down in the video description. If you're in this area, if you're in the Charlotte, Raleigh, Greensboro, Piedmont area of North Carolina. I'll also post down there the schedule. They have a delivery schedule and they run around all over within a 500 mile radius of this little farm here in Elon, North Carolina. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you coming. And also we can ship it to anywhere in the country too. Okay. We ship lots of places. Awesome. So you can get it anywhere. Cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Be sure you pound that like button. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. We got much more fun stuff to do here on the farm. All right. Woo. You got a woo. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Give me the woo. 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 <laughs> Not as good at it oh, as you yeah, are. You Come got, on now. <laughs> you got woo. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Guys, you know you get bonus footage if you stick around to the end of the video after the credits. This is called a Gibson egg washer, and we're gonna watch this thing work. Check it out. So you put the eggs in the front here. They go through this little machine. It drops them individually through and washes the eggs. This is how the eggs are cleaned, and basically it's just cleaned with warm water. Is that right? That's right. We don't use any kind of, any kind of agent to wash it. It's just warm water. And you don't have to put an egg lens best stamp on it for it to be a good egg. Is that correct? That's right. It only needs to have a Reedy Fork Farm label on it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's open this thing up and see the inner workings of the egg washer. Now you said the egg goes in and it follows in through as this thing spins. Can you turn it on while we're... Uh... Yep. Gotcha. So this apparatus spins, it drops an egg in, it spins, and then the egg comes out the other side, and this brush right here basically gently brushes the egg. Here's an egg, we'll just follow the egg through. It's going to drop out the other side. Really, really cool. Much easier than hand washing. That's a Gibson egg washer. We got to get one of those for the farm. It's only about a grand. <laughs> Probably cost more than my first car. It did cost more than my first car. See you guys next time.
We're excited about taking home some real food to our birds. Well, we're excited about you using it <laughs> and enjoying making some happy birds. I hope you guys learned a whole lot today. I hope you learned how an organic <laughs> we're gonna check out this milk parlor, this rotating milk parlor, this rotating milk. <laughs>